everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. Our first shell find today, he looks pretty good on the bottom, how does he look on the top? Oh yeah, he's a good one on the top. It is a lovely conical moon snail to start us off. Also, uh, the tide is not getting too low today, it might not be a good day for shelling in the rocks. Uh, but yeah, if it's not too good on the rack line, we'll check out one of those other beaches over there maybe. Oh, hello. What's this orange one? Hello. Whoa. Oh, it's cool. Oh my goodness, there was a little um, snail boy in there. I thought it might have been like eating something or uh, there might have been something in there. Oh, that's cool. Um, I've only ever found one other of these all nice and whole like this. It should be um, something like a, a Serta rock shell, something like that. That is super cool. They're just so hard to find here. Nice big moon snail right here on the rack line. Yep, he's a good one. I think that black right there might just be some dirt inside the shell. I'm not really sure though. It could be discolored a little. Well, you know it's a good day to check the uh, check the rack line in the back when you spot our Curica just sitting right there. Oh my goodness, maybe I should head to the other side of the beach and start checking the rack line. Oh my god. Oh wow, that is a lovely thick edged cowrie. Very, very nice. He's lost all of his top coat right here. He's usually supposed to be green and brown on top instead of um, blue with brown stripes. But still, that is such a cool shell. I love these so much. Yep, just gonna grab him up. He's a teeny tiny little commercial scallop. Very nice, I always love the ones with a bit of red on them like that. The bottom of this one looks really cool. Let's take a look at the top. Oh, it's interesting on top too. Here we go, this one should be a leafy oyster. Yeah, definitely, I find them uh, from time to time found a very very large one at uh, at Harvey Bay the other day oh my goodness that one looks really cool he's got like a little knob just sticking up right there uh, but the top of it looks I mean the, the front of it looks really good Ooh, a nice find look at that guy lovely and red yes it is a red wing oyster oh my goodness I usually don't find too many of these but I actually found one a couple of weeks ago as well little graceful calorie right here yes i know we find a lot of them on the rack lines but they're just so pretty oh got some lovely lace coral right here i don't know if i really need to keep picking this stuff up i filled a very large jar with it and when i mean very large i mean like it's proper large there's a proper large jar of lace coral at home oh that one looks good yeah, it's a lovely big telescoped dove shell. They're kind of common here, but this one's a lovely large one. Got a beautiful pattern on it as well. Mmm, there's not too much in here today, but I do see Anna Rosa. Oh, down we go. Easy, easy. Yes, I do see Anna Rosa. How are you? Oh, you know, he's pretty nice. Oh my goodness, he's a flat one as well. I really like all that dark brown through him. That's a pretty nice cowrie shell. And of course, what is this one? This one is, oh, he's very faded. I think he should have been a blue and brown stilita cowrie. Ooh, he looks good. Oh, he's nice on top. Yeah, I've got myself a little orange Mitra here. I usually say that they're not very common and you know what, I'm gonna stand by that. I don't usually find too many of them. Wow, lots of leafy oysters today. I've picked up one or two already. Yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely, ready orange guy. He looks especially nice in that sun. Just, uh, yeah, they're apparently common today. Not usually though. Looks like I have for myself a lovely Spangler's trumpet. Let's grab you up. Yes, there we go. He looks pretty gosh darn nice if you ask me. And what's this one? No, that's just a piece of a textile cone. And there it is. I found a lovely, or at least I saw it before I crouched down. I saw a lovely snakehead cowrie. Yeah, look at him. He's got a lovely dark color on him. Don't mind that guy at all. Well, the tide has turned and there wasn't terribly many shells. I couldn't get into several of the mystery spots of doom. 
But for now, let's go to Malula Bar and see what I can find there. Well, I've moved a little bit further down the road to Malula Bar. I haven't spotted much on the beach yet that's not broken shells, but I did just see this one. Um, um, oh wow, I've actually got no idea what this one is. That's a bit different. Probably super faded or something. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Right over here, we'll grab him up. Yes, I think this one is a Cook's Mitra. I could be wrong though, but it seems possible. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee still. Little tortoise dove shell right here. Yeah, he's a cutie. I recently saw an eBay listing for, uh, for pieces of this purple barnacle. Uh, 20 pieces for 10 bucks. I mean, who thinks that's a good idea? <laughs> what? Oh, look at that one. Second Kurika today. I mean, yes. Oh, he's got two holes. I thought he only had one hole. Yes, this one's got a few holes in him, but it's like the first nice shell find I've come across here at Malula Bar, so I'm going to keep him for now. Oh my gosh, well that is definitely a welcome surprise. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure, yes, it's just a whole bunch of rocks in there. Oh, look at that lovely, cr oh, I was about to say crowned cone. Look at that lovely worm cone. Oh my goodness, it's been ages since I found a worm cone. Oh, that's definitely a great find. Well, it looks like I might be micro-shelling today. I just spotted this one. Ooh, feels good to find something that's not broken and faded. Wow, that is a very pretty bubble shell. That is actually lovely. I'm pretty sure that's just the, uh, the brown bubble, but I could be mistaken. Anyway, let's see what else I can find around here. Little moon snail right here. I don't actually find these ones up the road. This should be a Swainson's moon snail, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Got myself a little zebra shell right here. Zebra top shell. Let's grab him out. I'm sorry, I don't think that was in frame at all. Not gonna lie, I was looking at a little shrimp that was darting around the rock pool just then. Oh my goodness, I am tragic. Oh gosh, I nearly wasn't going to look in this rock pool. Look at the size of him. Oh my goodness, please be whole. Ooh, it is whole. Don't know why there was a great big bubble in it. Oh, he's nice and empty. Yes, there's just a whole bunch of rocks in there. Wow, he looks really, really good. There's like no cleanup nearly on him. Um, usually with these guys, when they're super fresh, they have a a brown slimy outer layer on them. You can see a bit of it down at that point there. But this guy looks like it's all been stripped back. That is, ooh, where'd he go? That is super cool. Nice Hebrew cone. Oh, I can kind of see he looks nice and green on the top. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, this blue cowrie looks very nice. I always like them when they still got that green color and pl uh, plenty of brown speckles. It means that they're pretty fresh. Oh my goodness, I like this one. Just picking up a few little off-camera minis, couple of pheasant shells, a crowned cone, and a top shell. Just notice this guy, let's see you. Ooh, he's good on top. Oh my goodness, he is very good on top. That is a beautiful clandestine cow. You can see all of its nice dark brown zigzags on it. Yeah, that's not a bad one at all. Oh, and there's a nice crowned cone right here. One of those very, very black colored ones. Oh, I'm dropping things. I'm dropping things. <laughs> there we go. That is also a very, very lovely shell. Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, he is whole. Get a load of this guy. No, I am not sick of seeing these yet after my trip to Harvey Bay. It is a little juvenile Campbell's Strombus right here. Oh my. Well, I was just going back to picking up a nice amount of pheasant shells and I just saw this guy. Oh my goodness, doesn't he look good? Well, he looks good from at least one side. He looks a bit white on the other side. He'll be fine with some mineral oil. Oh my goodness, it is another lovely Cook's Mitra shell. Probably my biggest and darkest one. I love that stripe of blue on it. It just looks fantastic. And, oh, I just saw that one too. Yes, oh, he's nice on top. Oh, this is a good little mini pile. Got myself a little bear conch right there. Isn't he adorable? 
Oh gosh, I have not found one of these in ages. I think I've only found like two or three of them ever. Um, I forget their name, it's something like a grandfather Mitra. Something like that, I could be wrong about it. It always reminds me of a Santa Claus hat. Boy, that's a cute one. I gotta say, once again, there is a lot of really great minis in this pile. Got myself another Swainson's Moon Snail. Lots of these uh, yellow dove shells, a little broken Gaia Triton and a crown cone right there. Just noticed something that I thought was a bit unusual. Yeah, look at this limpet. I mean, hold on, things are falling out of my hands. There we go. Wow, I mean, is it like a duck bill limpet that lost its like center? Or is it actually a keyhole limpet that's supposed to be like that? I've got no idea when it comes to limpets, but that's just cool enough for me to keep. I, uh, there we go. But that's just cool enough for me to keep. Right in here, I originally came just to check out this crowned cone and this, uh, this uh, marriage cone right here. There we go, two more lovely cone shells. And we'll also grab that graceful cowrie as well. Oh, he's a nice graceful cowrie. I stopped to, uh, to actually look at this one before I started filming. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Um, it is a type of strombus. Can't tell what just from this much of it, but yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one even though it's broken. I've got no idea what it is. Uh, is it cursed? No, it's just a cute little rock with some triangles. Is this like a prayer rock that I'm supposed to leave, or do you like take it and put it elsewhere to kind of like keep the fun going? Oh, I don't know. I think I'll take it and leave it further down the beach, I, I guess. So here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Yes, we went to two beaches today. We started at Point Cartwright and then finished up at Mooloolaba. And yeah, it was, a, it was kind of weird. There was stuff there, but there was a lot of broken things as well. In the end, I did find a lot of, uh, of shells, so I, I was pretty happy. But uh, yeah, of course, it is now time to talk about a favorite. So please let me know which ones here were your favorites as well down in the comments. I did find this very nice thick edged cowrie on the rack line at Point Cartwright. Very, very nice guy. Always happy to find one of those. I was even happier still to find this one. Oh my goodness, I do not typically find these guys. They are quite the rarity for me. I'm super stoked with that. Um, found this lovely bubble shell. Found that lovely, uh, I wanna say grandfather Mitra, I could be wrong. Found this lovely worm cone. Can't believe that guy. He's just, he was just sitting there waiting for me all lovely. And I uh, found a very nice uh, clandestine as well. And uh, yeah, this limpet kind of threw me for a loop. Oh my goodness, he's a bit different. I don't know if it's a new limpet or an old version or like an older looking version of a limpet I've already found. Just really like that one. But my favorite today would have to be this guy. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how long it has been since I found a really big Hebrew cone in nice condition. But gosh, this one is just so nice. Look at how lovely his lip is as well. His spots are so beautiful. Anyway, that is my favorite today. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.